back to our channel. Today we have a total body workout for you guys using just a pair of dumbbells. Uh, we're going to be performing these exercises back to back in a circuit format and at the end we're going to complete the workout with a high intensity body weight finisher. So if you guys are ready, let's get to the warm up. All right guys, let's get into our warm up. Our first exercise is down on the ground. So um, I want you guys down in a child's pose just like this, arms are extended, you're sitting back on your uh, heels, and what I want you to do from here is get up into a high plank, and then step one leg up right next to your arm, make sure your back leg is nice and tight, bring that leg back, alternate with the other leg, pause, push your hips forward, go back, and then back into the child's pose. We're gonna do 10 repetitions, just like this, pause, at every uh, stage, just to feel a stretch. Push your hips down towards the ground, keep that back leg locked. Step back, draw the back, uh, bump back towards your heels, and then go back again. Pause, pause, and then sit back onto your heels. Make sure you're keeping your core tight. Sit back. One more time, you guys. Up. One leg up right next to your arm. Keep your hips tight, drive them through the ground. Breathe. Sit back. All right, our second exercise. I want you guys in a half kneeling position, just like this. I want your arms right in front of you. We're gonna be doing shoulder rotations. So the first one, we're gonna rotate around, follow your fingertips, make a T, squeeze your back, come back, and then we're gonna do a half circle. While you're doing this, keep your core tight, try not to stick your belly out, and squeeze your back. We're gonna do six total. For our number two here, really important to follow those fingertips with your eyes. Keep that cervical spine with the rest of the spine. Big circle, squeeze your back. And make sure you're breathing. Keep that stomach tight, don't stick it out. We don't want any extensions in the lower back. Squeeze, last one. Big half circle, and come back. Let's do the other side, same thing you guys. Hands in the front, let's go into a T. Big T. Now, big circle, follow those fingertips. Make sure that front hand is reaching forward and it's nice and firm. You're not sagging that front arm. Number three here. Make sure you're squeezing that back. Nice and tight feel. Those shoulders working really good way. To, uh, improve your upper body mobility here. Last one, you guys, squeeze and rotate. Great job, everybody. All right, let's get up to our feet now. We have forward lunges with the trunk rotation. So I want you guys with your hands in the front like this. We're gonna do a forward lunge and then I want you to twist to the side. I want you to twist in the trunk. Don't just push your arms, but actually turn your trunk to the side like that, okay? We're gonna do eight on each side. This is two. We gotta get those legs warmed up, that upper body warmed up, because this workout has it all. It's gonna get pretty intense. You guys asked for it. <laughs> Here we go, keep alternating. Make sure you're stable, don't rush. Round number seven, rotate in the trunk. Work on your stability and your balance here. I know it's a challenge. All right, that's it. Stand at the top of your mat. Our next one, we're gonna do a walkout with a push-up, hand release push-up. So when you get down to the 
a push-up position. Release your hands, push the ground away, walk back, and repeat. We have five of those total, or no, six of those total. Here we go. Down, walk out fully, plank, lower yourself, push off, come back. And if you need to, you can bend your knees if you, uh, if you don't have good hamstring flexibility. Come back to the top and repeat. This is number three. Down, release the hands, push the ground away, walk back. Number four. Here we go, number five. Keep your core tight. Don't let your butt sag. Last one, walk out. And back. I don't know who comes up with these workouts. The warm up is <laughs> challenging. Here we go, this is our last one. A little bit of cardio to get your heart elevated before we start this circuit, okay? What I want you to do is step and reach. Step and reach. We're gonna do 12 times. One on each side, 12 on each side, all right? Here we go, three, two, one. Step and reach, step and reach. Keep moving, two, two, three, three. Reach down and touch the ground, keep moving. That was four, five, five, come on. Six, six. Getting our blood moving. Heart rate is elevated. Preparing for this intense circuit. That was nine, 10, come on. 11, last one, and 12. All right, guys. We're gonna get into our first circuit. Make sure that you have some water and you have your pair of dumbbells. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get into our first circuit. We have three exercises. We're gonna be doing them for 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Uh, before we start, I'm gonna have Margo demonstrate all the exercises and then we're gonna get into it. So Margo's gonna grab the two dumbbells that she has. Our first move is a lateral moving squat press. Margo's gonna put the dumbbells at her shoulders. She's gonna squat down and move one step to the side. She's gonna squat up and then press. Again, down, one step to the side and up. We're keeping our glutes down. We're gonna keep a lot of tension in those legs and then press. We're using our shoulders to press the uh, dumbbells. Just like that. Our second exercise, Margo is gonna move to the top of the uh, mat here. We're gonna do an RDL paired with the row. So we're gonna have a little bit of bend in the knees. Margo's gonna reach down, keeping her spine neutral, her core tight. You're gonna row the dumbbells, hold them for three seconds. One, two, three, let go, come up to the starting position, and then repeat. Margo's gonna come down again, up, one, two, three, down, and then back to the starting position. And then our last exercise is gonna be uh, on the ground. We're gonna be working the glutes and working on our core stability, all right? Margo is gonna get into the side plank just like this. You want to uh, stick your butt out a little bit so we have a lot of range to, uh, to work with. I want Margo to get up into the side plank, push her glutes forward, and then raise this leg, the top leg. One more time, Margo. Squeeze the glutes, raise the top leg. If you wanna modify this exercise and you can't raise this um, top leg, you're just gonna come up and squeeze without raising this top leg, all right? Here we go. We're gonna get into our first exercise. I'm gonna start the timer. We are going in 10 seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Uh, working for 20, uh, 40 seconds and resting Three, for 20. Two, one, Here we go. go. Squat to the side and then press. Try to keep your butt as low as you can and then press. Work for 40 seconds. Nice and steady, don't rush. Feel the tension in your legs. Just like that. Stay nice and low. We really want a lot of tension in those legs. Stay in that pop bottom position. Step to the side and press. 10 seconds. Woo. Just like that. Keep your core tight, keep your chest up, and then bring that booty down. Good job, you guys. Resting for 20. Our next move is at the top 
of the mat, RDL with the row. We start in five seconds. Here we go. Here we go. RDL, row. One, two, three. Back up to the top. Make sure you have a little bend in your knees while you're doing this. Keep your core tight and your spine neutral. Hold for three seconds when you row, and then back to the starting position. Three seconds. One, two, three. Back up. Come on, guys. Ten seconds. We came to work. Down. Feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. Row to the top position. You got 20 seconds to get down to the ground. Let's work those glutes. Um, and that core here. Stick your butt out. Hands to your side. Make sure your shoulder is lined up with your elbow. And we start. And go. Up and squeeze. You really want to put a lot of tension in your glutes. Try not to stick your belly up. Keep your core nice and tight. If you can't, bring that top leg up. Make sure you can keep it down and modify this move. Up and squeeze. Margo can go way higher than I can with her knee. Woo! I'm 10 like seconds. Up. You're making me look bad. Good job, you guys. Let's go to the other side. And we got five seconds left. You guys ready? Here we go. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes as you get up. Up. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Keep your core tight. Try not to stick your belly out. Straight line as you get up. Try to raise that knee as high as you can. Open up those hips. Force those glutes to work. Yes, come on. Woo! 15. Squeeze. 10 seconds. That's burning. Come on, guys. Five seconds. Squeeze. Resting. Woo! Meet me back at the top here. We're going to be doing a lateral. Um, Squat press, okay? We got 10 seconds, you guys. Let's do it. This is round two. There's a little bit of sweat coming in. <laughs> Woo! Dumbbells to the shoulders. Here we go. Squat to the side. Stay low. Press to the side and press. Keep your core tight. Spine is neutral. Stay nice and low, as low as you can. You can also do this with one dumbbell. If your dumbbells are too heavy, or if you're only working with one, grab it on the sides. 10 seconds. Keep it by your chest, and then press it. Resting. Woo! Good job, guys. We're at the top here. We're gonna be doing an RDL with the row. Make sure you pause for three seconds. 10 second break. When you're doing this, make sure there's a little bend in your knees, okay? <laughs> we wanna feel it in your hamstrings and your glutes as well. Reach down, squeeze. One, two, three, back to the start. Again, one, two, three, back to the start position. Make sure you're keeping those dumbbells nice and close to your body so you're not putting that stress into your lower back. One, two, three. Good job, guys. Come on, push yourself. Three. Yeah, squeeze that Ten back. Ten seconds. Come on, squeeze that back. Two, three. One more. One, two, three. Resting. Woo. All right. We have the glute raise. 
I think we set the timer wrong and it might end before us, but that's okay, we're gonna continue. But out, we're gonna get up and squeeze the glutes. Here we go, and go. Knee nice and high, try to keep that tummy in. Keep that belly in, don't stick it out. Try not to curve your back, force your glutes to work here. Don't rush through the movement, slow and controlled. Yes, good point by Margo. Everybody always wants to move fast. They're trying to sweat, but there's bigger benefit in slowing down and feeling 10 seconds. muscles work. This guy interrupts me <laughs> every time I try to talk. Come on, push yourself, squeeze. Woo! I'm shaking. I know, I can feel it in my hips. Woo! Hips on my, hips on my. Stick your butt out, exaggerate that booty. We start in about eight seconds. Make sure you're squeezing that ass and raise that knee nice and high. You ready? Two, squeeze. Yes, just like that. If you need to modify the exercise, no big deal. Just keep your knee down. You don't have to raise it. Keep it down and just focus on bringing the glutes forward and squeeze them as hard as you can. We're gonna feel this tomorrow. This is a great combination for food and core work. Yes, squeeze, come on. 10 seconds. Nice and steady straight, you guys. Don't worry, we're gonna get a chance to sweat at the end of the workout. A nice little finish. Yes. All right, you guys. Back to the top. We are back to the top. We're doing, this is our last round. Squat, lateral step, and press. Let's finish. We're gonna get a little break and go into round uh, two. Three, two, one, squat. Step to the side and press. Squat, step to the side and press. One, step to the side and press. Come on. By staying low like that, we're keeping a lot of tension in those legs and those glutes should be burning by now. Margo's steps are huge. Her hip mobility is nice. I'm 10 sorry. seconds. I'm very jealous. Come on, is there a last one for this one? And time. No, Resting. Great effort. We set the timer on. So if you keep going, I'm going to set it again. We got about 10 seconds to start again, okay? Here we go. Lighten your knees. Bend the knees. Three, Slightly. two, one, go, go. Row, one, two, three, back up. Squeeze those dumbbells, keep it close to your body. Two, three, come on, up. Squeeze that back, dumbbells are close to your body, and back, come on. Make sure you're breathing, control your breathing, don't panic. You got this, this is our last round. We'll get a break. If you're, dealing with, if you're dealing with heavy dumbbells, you can also use one. You can always modify. Don't be too proud. Good job. Last one on the ground, and then we get a little break, okay? Here we go. I really like this one. I feel it a lot in my hips. It's one of my favorite exercises. Here we go. Up and squeeze. Yes. Raise that knee as high as Marco or as high as me. Uh, mine isn't that great, I know. But I'm squeezing and trying. Here we go. A for effort. A for effort, yes. Let's go. Up. Everybody's fitness level is different. Push yourself. Go at your own pace. You showed up today. That's the only thing that matters. Yes. You're making a change. It's about feeling good and just moving. 10 seconds. Body. Now he interrupted me. You see that guy? He's doing it on purpose. Rude. Up and squeeze. All right, let's switch you guys. Other side. This is our last one. 
and we get about a minute and a half break. We get into our second circuit. 10 seconds, here we go. Make it burn. Then we get a chance to have some water. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Up and squeeze. Raise that knee nice and high. Up, squeeze. Yes, come on. Work with me. Squeeze. Woo! Bring those hips forward. Squeeze those glutes. Pause for a second at the top. Feel it. We're gonna punish those glutes. Yes. Burn, baby, burn. Woo! I'm shaking. Yes. Come on. Everybody like it. 10 seconds. Ah, a nice pair of cheeks back there. Here we go. I get a good view here too. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, you guys. We are finished with this circuit. Make sure you get some water. About a minute and a half, and then we're gonna get to our second circuit. All right, guys, we made it to round two. Again, I'm gonna show you the exercises before we get into our circuit. First one, Margo is gonna grab one dumbbell. You just need one dumbbell for this one. I want you to stand at the top of your mat. You're gonna bring the dumbbell in front of you. With one motion, you're gonna clean the dumbbell overhead and step back into your rear lunge. You're gonna get back to the starting position and do it again. This one is a little challenging. It's gonna challenge your balance. If you're not able to clean the dumbbell over your head, I want you to keep the dumbbell right here. This is the modified version. Keep it at your shoulder. You're gonna step back and press. You can go nice and slow, don't rush. We're gonna have 40 seconds to work through this, okay? Uh, second one is gonna be for our glutes and our upper body, for our chest. I like this one a lot. We're gonna have our legs a little closer to our body. Now I'm gonna have Margo raise her glutes. Okay, and then we're gonna keep this position the whole time that we're pressing the dumbbells. Margo's glutes are uh, really squeezed right now. Margo's gonna press the dumbbells and go back down, just like that. You should feel a lot of tension in your glutes as well as working your upper body, all right? And then last one, this is one of my favorites. It's kind of challenging. We're gonna go into a bare plank. Now the bare plank, I want your hands right underneath your shoulders, just like Margo has hers, and her uh, spine is gonna be nice and neutral, nice and straight, I don't want uh, arching back here. And I want your knees about an inch off the ground. Now, Margo's gonna put one uh, hand behind her back, she's gonna extend her legs, bring her butt up into a pike, she's gonna return to the starting position, bring her arm down, and alternate, just like that. But up, extend the legs, come back down, keeping her spine nice and neutral, and her knees closer to the ground, and up. The reason that we keep the knees really close to the ground, that prevents us from rounding our back. All right, here we go. You guys, grab one dumbbell. I'm working with 20 uh, pounds here, no big deal. Marco's, Marco's working with 10, so you see the difference. Here we go. We're gonna start. Marco's gonna kill me after this video. Here we go. We're gonna start in five, Seconds. Here we go, you guys. Three, Clean and then two, reverse lunge. One, go. With one motion, clean the dumbbell and rear lunge. Take your time. This one's kind of challenging. Requires a lot of stability, a lot of balance. Make sure that you're engaging your core as well. We're going to do this on both sides, just like that. Take your time. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, you guys. Throw that dumbbell overhead. Last one. Good job. We got 20 seconds. We're going to go to the other side. My left side is a little more difficult here. Take your time, you guys. Take your time. Here we go. We're going to start with 10 seconds. Uh, if you need to use the modified version, do that. Keep the dumbbell on your shoulder. Step back and press. No biggie. Go. There you go. Push yourself. Circuit two. We have a finisher after this. So make sure you save some energy. If you're really advanced and you want to push yourself, you can move a little faster get more reps in within 40 seconds. 
Okay. 10 seconds, or if you have heavier weights at your house, you can use those. Good job, you guys. Second one, grab your dumbbells. Let's get down to the ground. We're gonna do the press. Bring your feet closer to your body, about hip width with your knees. Squeeze the glutes and press. Here we go. Glutes up, squeeze, press. Make sure you're breathing. We're squeezing those glutes, actively squeezing those glutes and pressing those dumbbells. Lots of tension in those glutes. At this point, your hips might be dropping, so just re-engage. Squeeze those glutes, bring those hips up. Yes, Margo, good point. Push yourself, come on. 10, Ten seconds. seconds. Yeah, baby, come on. <laughs> might be working to have your dumbbells. This might be harder for you. Ready for Samir's favorite. My favorite. Not really. This one's challenging. You guys ready? Take your time. Take your time. I want your hands right below your shoulders. Keep that straight line. That's where your shoulder is the most stable. Okay? Here we go. One arm back. Extend up. Come back down. Keep a neutral spine. Extend up. Alternate for 40 seconds. You see how I'm taking my time? Quality over quantity, my friends. Always. Come on. We want to feel better. We don't want to be beat up. Everybody wants results in a week. It takes time. It takes time. 10 seconds. You got to work for it. The goal is building strength, people. You got to earn it. Come on. This one sucks. what I'm saying, you guys? I'm trying to survive. And she does these workouts with a smile. How can I work under these conditions? Here we go. Two, one. I'm starting with my left because I don't like the favorite sides like Margaret. She likes the favorite her right side. Come on, baby. Blood is rushing, you're sweating, you're doing good. Good start to your day, whatever day it is. It's burning. Come on, 10 more seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. Work. I didn't say I was stopping. Woo. Resting. I'm sorry. I got 10 seconds. 10 seconds must be the 15 seconds. This guy. If you want to, you can grab some water in between. Here we go. Five. You start. In five. When that dumbbell's in front of you, you don't have to reach so low. Okay? Just right below your knees or right at knee level. And then clean overhead with one motion. Again. You can modify by keeping the dumbbell at the shoulder and then just step back and press. Come on. 10 seconds. Push yourself. <laughs> Woo, you guys are amazing. This one's my favorite because I get to kind of lay down and relax. Yes, breathe. We have five seconds. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes. Bring those heels close to your body. Squeeze, press, press, breathe. Don't let your body panic. Take control of your breathing. Yes. Come on, you know those glutes work. Squeeze. Yeah. Squeeze and squeeze them. Core is tight. Press those dumbbells nice and high. Squeeze your chest. 
Yes. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Ten seconds. Let's go. Lots of tension going on. Yes. All right. Here we go. Bare plank. Bare planks. Marva doesn't see a problem with these. Psycho. Here we go. We start in five. Shoulders over palms. Up, one arm up, extend. Try to keep your back neutral. Go nice and slow. We're trying to make the core work. Work on your stability, improving body coordination. Yes. Be aware of what you're doing. Don't rush. Slow touch. You ever heard that song? Oh my gosh. Margo loves that song. 10 seconds. Come on. 10 seconds. Resting. Oh. Oh, last one, you guys. One. one more. I wouldn't want to favor my right side, so I'm going to start with my left this time. <laughs> Don't favor your side, guys. Alternate. Here we go. I'm starting with my right. Go. I'm going to try to get quality reps this round. I'm kind of out of breath. I love working out with you guys. I love to push you. I swear, this timer is going slow. It's not going. 10 seconds. Ah, come on. Oh, I'm sweating. I need this, right? Legs are burning. Good burn. Walk it around. Ten seconds. Come on, you guys. Don't be like me. Push through it. Let's work. Come on. Woo! Don't give up. We're gonna make it. Come on. Let's go. I need you with me. Last round. Into a real lunge. Keep your spine nice and neutral. Bring that knee down as low as you can. Challenge your Ten legs. Seconds. legs to work. When you're coming back up, use that front leg to push off. Yes. Woo I'm going to lay down. Woo. Here we go. Up. Looks elevated, chest press, keep those heels close to your butt. Up. Go. Press. 40 seconds. Don't forget to squeeze those glutes. Work, baby. Come on. I need you. Come on. Let's go. So close, guys. Who says you can't get a good workout with minimal equipment? Just a pair of dumbbells. I got you burning. They Ten. barely haven't met us yet. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. All right, here we go. My worst enemy. Fair plank. Again, keep your spine nice and neutral. Okay, stay tight. Go. Try to keep your knees nice and low to the ground. That's gonna prevent your back from rounding so much. We want that neutral spine. I'm trying. Extend those legs nice and high. You want about a hip width with your knees. That's the stance you want. 
You got 10 seconds? 10 seconds. Wow. I'm good. <laughs> you can tell I'm a trainer. And oh. time. Resting. Great right effort. Good job, you guys. I'm glad you stuck with us. We have one more hit thing to do. Finisher. We got the hit finisher. Grab some water. About a minute and a half. Let's get into it. Let's put a stamp on this workout. Come on. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this workout the right way. We have our high intensity finisher. We're gonna be working for 20 seconds, resting for 10 for to uh, four total rounds. Our first exercise, Margo's gonna demonstrate half burpee. She's gonna go down. I also like to call these kickbacks. You're just going down into a plank, kicking your legs back and standing back up. Uh, exercise number two, we have skater jumps. Margo's gonna start at the top of her mat. Jump side to side. If you like to reach, you can. My goal sometimes likes to reach down to the ground. If you want to modify it, make sure your back leg touches the ground and you don't have to be on a single leg. You can balance on that back leg. Last exercise, everybody knows these, mountain climbers. My goes down on the ground in the plank. Drive those knees to your chest, okay? I don't want you rushing just to try to get as many as you can, but really focus on getting those knees up to your chest. Challenge your core. You guys ready? We're gonna start in 10, Seconds. This one's going to be intense. 20, 10, no rest in between. Four rounds. We're starting with half burpees or three backs. Two, one. Here we go. Go. Down, up. Let's go. 20 seconds. Push. 10 seconds. Remember, guys, form over everything. So if you feel like you're getting a little sloppy, slow down. Good job. 10 seconds, we got our skaters. Side to side. If you want to modify it, use that back leg to balance. Go. Once you get your groove, just move side to side. Nice and fast. You can speed this up. Body weight workouts a little easier. 10 to seconds. Come on. Margo likes to stick her leg out when she's doing it. You can do that too. Like a true skater. Uh, all right, last one. The dreadful mountain climber. Mountain climber, shoulders over your palms. Go. 20 seconds. Knees to your chest. Don't think about speed. Think about four. 10 seconds. Driving those knees nice and high. Come on. Burning a few extra calories at the end of this. Come back to the burpee. We gotta keep our intensity high. Here we go. Go. Burpee up. This is our round two, guys. If you're this, 10 seconds, you can move a little faster if you want a challenge. That's the skaters. Skaters now. That's the great thing about all these moves. You can increase it. You can modify them. You can modify if you want to lower the intensity, or you can intensify by going faster. Ten seconds. Move. Come on. Push yourself. Come on. You might be moving faster than I, Margo and I. That's fine, push yourself. Everybody has a different fitness level. Here we go. Keep my core tight. My spine is neutral. My shoulders are over. 10 seconds. My palms. Come on, baby. Woo! Hurts so good. Number three, guys. Number three. Number three. I don't want to do this anymore. Come on. We make so many song references. That was Rihanna. Ten seconds. Push yourself. We got the end of our workout. You gotta give me everything you got. 
That sucks. Skaters. Skaters. Work on your balance here. Uh, go slow if you need to. Come on. Ten seconds. You guys are amazing. We thank you for your support. We love every, each and every one of you guys. Thank you for following us so and being with us every time. Let's go. Smear thinks if he's grateful, he doesn't have to work no. out. <laughs> Margo, Ten always seconds. Margo always takes over at the end of the workout because I can't breathe. Thank you.